everybody! My name is Lindsay. Welcome or welcome back to my bookish and writing channel. So today I wanted to share my thoughts on Emily Henry's newest book, which is Happy Place. This is a contemporary fiction slash romance book about a group of friends in their late 20s and early 30s. This friend group is very close. They have been close ever since they started in college freshman year, and every summer since freshman year this friend group has spent their summer vacation in a beach cottage in Maine. Now the friend group is returning Returning to the beach cottage for the summer for what could be their very last vacation. But there is a very big problem in this plan because two of the group members, Harriet and Wynne, have been dating and have been together for several years, and the friends know them and the friends think they are the perfect couple but they recently called off their engagement and they haven't told any of their friends yet. So the two agree to fake date and pretend that they are still together in order to keep this group happy during what could be their very last vacation. So a bit of context, before I read Happy Place I actually read three of Emily Henry's other books. Two of them I absolutely love and those are People We Meet on Vacation and Book Lovers. Love these books so much, very much enjoyed them. And then I also read Emily Henry's other book which is Beach Read. I liked it but it wasn't quite the book for me. So I was going into this knowing that for the most part I really enjoy Emily Henry's books. Two of them I absolutely adore. One of them I liked it, didn't love it. So uh, that was my mindset going into this. I had also heard a few things about Happy Place before I went into the book myself. The first thing I heard was that this book is sadder than Emily Henry's other books and after I read it I can confirm that yes, it, I wouldn't say it's a sad book, but the tone is definitely different. And then the other thing that I heard before going into this book was that it got a lot of mixed reviews, possibly more mixed reviews than Emily Henry's other books. And so I knew that it wasn't praised highly, People liked it, people didn't like it, there was a lot of mixed opinions. I'm actually very glad that I knew that information before going into this book because I think that it did actually impact my enjoyment of the book in a good way. My expectations weren't too high but I hoped that I would like it and luckily overall I would say I liked it but I do have some mixed feelings about certain things. So first I want to talk about what I liked about the book and then I will get into the tea. <laughs> First of all, Emily Henry's writing style, every single one of her books, even if I love the book or the book isn't for me, I always enjoy Emily Henry's writing style, particularly her dialogue. I think her dialogue is fun, witty, engaging, the funny parts make me laugh. It just works for me and so, again, really enjoyed Emily Henry's writing style in this book. Second of all, I really enjoyed the setting of this book. The four Emily Henry books that I've read have had a vacation element to them, and in this one the friend group goes to a beach cottage in Maine. It's near the beach, there's a pool, they're in a small town with cozy vibes, there's a coffee shop, there's a bookstore, and even the grocery store is described in a way that I wanted to go there. So again, I think this book did a great job on the setting. The friends are going on vacation, I'm imagining myself on vacation, and I would like to go to the location that they are at. So lastly, for the things that I liked, I wanted to mention that the main character, Harriet, does not have a literary job in this book, which is very different from Emily Henry's other three books that I've read. In her other three books, her main characters all have a literary job. They are an author, they are a travel agent, and they are a literary agent. But in here, I was completely expecting Harriet to have some sort of literary job, but in here she is a brain surgeon. Even though I specifically love it when the main character has a literary job, and if Harriet had had another literary job I would have been like, great, this is so great, I get to read about another character who is in the literary world professionally. I appreciated that Emily Henry did something different here as well. So while I would have liked it either way, I think a lot of other readers who have read Emily Henry's other books are probably like, oh this is refreshing, this is different. So I wanted to point out that I liked that element. So even though Emily Henry's writing style and setting was enough for me to overall like this book, there was a lot in here that I want to talk about that is not positive. Alright, let's get into it. So this is a romance book, right? Let's start with the couple. Harriet and Wynne. This book jumps back and forth between past and present. I really liked Harriet and Wynne in the past. 
did not like them in the present. I really enjoyed their meet cute and how they got to know each other, how they were very comfortable with each other from the start, how they opened up to each other, made each other feel like they were at home. All of the beginning stuff, all of the flashback stuff, really great, very sweet, cute, genuine moments. But present day, Harriet and Wynne were not fun to read. In other books where the fake dating trope has been used, I've really enjoyed it, where the two characters kind of come together and create some sort of contract or agreement, and then fake date, and then become closer, and it's very cute. Here, that was not what happened. They kind of sort of got together and kind of sort of talked about ground rules. At the beginning of this trip, both characters are extremely angry at one another. They haven't gotten closure from their breakup. There is a lot of things that have not been said to one another. There's a lot of unresolved feelings. So they're both very angry and that creates a very toxic situation. Rather than respecting one another, they're both trying to one-up each other and annoy the other person by dramatically publicly flirting with the other person or holding the other person closer than really they need to publicly in order to try to annoy the other person or get them to feel a certain way. And I just didn't like it. It wasn't fun. It wasn't cute. It was very uncomfortable. And I honestly could not fathom how their other friends could find their behavior believable. I would have enjoyed this book a lot more if the fake dating trope had been handled differently, if these characters had at least treated each other decently and with respect, but that didn't happen. So continuing on with characters and relationships, let's talk about the friend group. I did not like Sabrina and Parth. They did not treat their friends well. There was an invasion of privacy moment, there were several pressuring moments, and there were several passive aggressive comments that Sabrina made. And by the end of the book, when you really learn a lot about those two. I just, yeah, did not enjoy those characters. See, this group is described in a way that there's no other friend group like it. It's incredibly special and all of these characters feel like they are at home with this friend group whenever they go on vacation together. But Sabrina and Parth's actions do not show this. Wynne and Harriet's actions also do not show this because See, I thought that when I had read the synopsis of this book, when and Harriet had just broken up, it's only been maybe a week or two, but it's been several months since they broke up when this trip begins, and these are supposedly their closest friends in the world, and they've said nothing to them. The book tried to explain it away by saying, oh, they just, you know, it was like a denial thing, but I just don't find it very realistic. I think I would have understood Harriet and Wynne's decision to not tell their friends yet if it had been a week or two, but it, again, it's been several months since they broke up. They still haven't told their friends and now they're just not going to tell them until who knows when. It just seems odd considering that this is supposedly a friend group that is extremely special and close and like family. I will say that similarly to the relationship between Harriet and Wynne, I enjoyed the flashback scenes of the friend group much more than the present scenes of the friend group. I enjoyed learning about how the group came together. I enjoyed that the group wasn't exclusive, that it started with Sabrina, Harriet, and Cleo, and then expanded with the other three group members and it's been special throughout, and as it grew and as it changed, it just remained special. And I did appreciate that this book did bring up the topic of friendships and long-term friendships and how they do change as life goes on, and so I did appreciate that that topic was discussed. But again, I just really didn't enjoy reading about the friendship group in the present scenes. Unfortunately, I just wish that four out of six of these characters were written differently. So overall, those are my thoughts on Emily Henry's new book, Happy Place. Overall, I did enjoy it. I love Emily Henry's writing style. I really enjoyed the setting and all of the flashback scenes gave me those warm and fuzzy vibes that I was hoping to feel when I was reading about the relationship and the friend group. But unfortunately, the main relationship and the friend group in the present scenes kept me from loving the book. Thank you all so much for watching my review. If you've read Happy Place, please let me know in the comments what you thought of it. Or if you've read any of Emily Henry's other books, please let me know your thoughts on those as well. Or if you'd like to leave an emoji in the comments just for fun or to let me know you're here, please leave me an emoji that reminds you of vacation, like the beach or sunshine. And with that, I'll see you all again soon with another new video. Bye everybody.